Ladies and gentlemen, I am Subrata Sarkar, a mechanical engineer working in manufacturing industry since last 22 years. Today we will discuss not any big topic, just meaning of a single word called empathy. You know, the, uh, you know this uh, linguistic meaning of this word may be clear to many of us, but in reality, how many times we actually delivered this you know, behavior? That is the question today. And after you know, going to this presentation, I'm sure you will be in a position to define yourself what is empathy. And you don't need to go any book for you know memorize what is empathy. What is you, you can see in this picture? Maybe your girl is you know trying to check the uh, you know this fitness of the uh, shoes. It's not getting very properly fitted, or his uh, heel is too high, something like that. Actually, there is a say called ability to put oneself into another's shoes is called empathy. Or in a different view, the like ability to see with the eye of another person. You are not seeing with your eyes, you are seeing with the eye of another person to the situation or ability to feel with the heart of another person. So empathy when the subject comes, then you is, you know, nowhere actually, there is no existence of yourself. You should go inside the, you know, inside of the other person, feel from his eyes, you know, feel from his heart or see from his eyes. Now, Empathy is such a thing, you know, it's not an inborn quality of human being. It's also like other quality people learn from the uh, nature actually. You can see in this picture, the two kids. So it's not that, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, taught in schools or colleges and it's people automatically see the outside world and people learn. But many times you used to forget to implement this, you know, when the things actually needed to uh, you know, behave like that and many times uh, you know instead of uh, going towards empathy and uh, 90 percent cases people go towards the sympathy which actually doesn't give good reason and not only this quality is with the human being you will find this quality empathy quality even in the animals you can see in this picture so there, there are actually in a big uh, way if we see the picture there is a one uh, things called sympathy it is a very small thing actually out of it is called empathy and the largest circle is called empathy now sympathy what is sympathy sympathy we know actually everybody know the meaning of the word is very clear to all of us it's been feeling you know bad for someone's you know unfortunate a uh, situation so it's everybody do it when somebody has got some unfortunate situation so we feel bad but the difference is better in the empathy and sympathy it's like empathy means i feel your pain and sympathy means i'm sorry that you have pain so sympathy is always keep a separation between you know you and me and empathy is always go inside the other person so this is the actually a difference. Now let's have some meaning, uh, understanding what well, empathy. Empathy basically is neither sympathy or it's actually you know people are you know when you are you don't just feel uh, don't feel anything about it or neither to do care about it. For example, something has happened on the road, some road accident has happened, and you were just passing off it because you were busy with some other things. So you don't bother about it. What happened? You were not interested. So that is actually empathy. Now, when you, know, uh, you do some, you know, this, uh, and obviously there, you know, when somebody is doing some sympathetic behavior and em empathic behavior, uh, there are some, you know, advantages also. Like, then you you know, you can, you can build the trust and respect when somebody is dealing with that, you know, empathy and you can reduce the tension and encourage somebody you know surfacing the information suppose somebody has some problem 
and you are also you are just showing that you also feel sorry for his or her problem then further he or she will not share any other internal information actually what happened with him or her so any you know, further surfacing of the information will not come up but if you behave in a way that you are also feeling pain for her or him then many information will you know come out actually and actually that creates a safe uh, infa environment to the both the person say so somebody has some uh, you know uh, bad situation or something and you were telling something wrong the situation may you know this uh, uh, become very violent or uncontrollable instead of uh, if you if you if you uh, go in a sympathetic way and you know so it's, it's, it's also help to release the emotion of some people who are in a uh, not in a good uh, situation so you always it is uh, you know we should try to behave instead of sympathy to empathy so it is so in a simple way when you are empathetic you forget yourself you go to the other side of the person and behave like him or her or feel like him or her see like him or her then the things will you know be in a better position sometimes we feel that you know it is also connected with this uh, topic that when i'm not called by other people or other people don't remember me but when they have some necessity only at that time they remember me so don't feel you know upset for this situation rather you can take it in a, in a different way actually you may feel privilege that you will like a candle that comes in their mind when they are in a problems so it is it's better always that people should every time remember but not necessary when they are in problem if they remember that's a, a another you know different uh, view of life actually so don't uh, we should not be very sympathetic about this you know uh, situation actually now there is a say uh, like you know this empathy and religion how they interconnected actually like if you don't need any religion if you don't need you know any religion to have a moral because suppose there are many moral that don't need any religion to teach you you know but if you cannot determine the right from the wrong then you lack of empathy not religion so in a different view if we try to define what is empathy or what are the meaning actually empathy e stands for everybody needs somebody and m stands for is a model or mirror and p p stands for you know put yourself into the other person's shoe then you can understand actually what is the situation and a stands for ask if you can help them and t t stands for you know treat other the way you want to be treated always actually that that, that you will feel actually automatically good things will come out from you actually and h stands for heartful or helpful and y stands for you feel better and they also feel better which is our actually objective in any transaction or communication in life you know so the which we, we other way call this a win win situation but every time if we uh, remember only one dialogue actually so the before judging anybody we must understand so we must understand before judge any people and life will be very simple and things will be very you know very smooth actually or other can send people will be very happy every time so if you find this presentation is interesting or informative you can share with your friends and if you have not yet liked my youtube channel you can subscribe my channel thank you very much for your attention